Hi there, I'm Farmer Brad and on today's video we're going to upgrade the chicken tractor greenhouse with some wiggle wire channel and wiggle wire. Stay tuned. So this is ripped a little bit. I'm going to upgrade it by adding wiggle wire to the end pieces. I'm taking these end boards off. Okay, so I've taken this side off. Take this plastic back. Now I'll go ahead and install a wiggle wire bar. Screwing in a wiggle wire bar. So I have this wiggle bar, wiggle wire bar channel right here. And while I have this open, let me show you what is growing in here. So I don't remember what I planted over here. I have a feeling that these right here are probably the oats that had gotten in there for the cover crop. But over here, this is clearly some lettuce sprout stuff there. And then in the middle, I have some green stuff coming up. I think I remember putting uh, Brussels sprouts or something there. I'm not sure what I put over there on the far side. But uh, needless to say, stuff is growing, so I need to protect this better. I got the remaining plastic off. Now to add the wiggle wire channel on this side so i have the wiggle wire track on this side now i need to go get uh new plastic and get it in place so i have this plastic rolled out i have it end over there i'm gonna connect with the wiggle wire i'm actually gonna have to do two pieces of plastic then i have this thicker piece that will go over the middle so let's see how that goes okay so here i'm doing the wiggle wire if you've never done wiggle wire before, it just wiggles right in there. And this will actually work out well for when it's uh, pasture poultry season because then I can just wiggle wire a tarp in here. So I think I've gone far enough. I'm going to add, I'm going to uh, cut the plastic on the end, put another layer so it's completely full or covered, and then I'm going to put the piece of plastic in the middle. Okay, so I've applied the thicker plastic in the middle. I'm going to finish up the wiggle wire. And I'll need to come back and cut that off. Now the exciting part is when I'm able to pull this tight on this side. So I'll step on this extra part of the plastic put in the wiggle wire and let's see how it goes so far that's looking pretty good this is uh, fairly taut and then what I'm gonna do is since this seam is looking pretty good I'll go ahead and tape the seam since the plastic wasn't wide enough to start off with and then I'll be able to uh, put some bricks along here to keep that down but this sides open so I need this excess to come down uh, but we'll be in business Definitely a huge improvement from what it was. Okay, so here's what the chicken tractor Greenhouse looks like now have it pulled tight and Looks pretty good the only thing I need to do is come back here and put some greenhouse tape on there to keep that down and I think having this thicker uh, Leftover plastic from the high tunnel should help it retain the heat better. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just using three inch repair tape from Bootstrap Farmer and I'll show you what it looks like when I have it on. Okay, so now the tape is on there. Now, ideally you would do it when it's warmer out. It's a little cold, so this tape might pop off. So I did two passes with this tape 
to hopefully have it stick. And then I did another thing of tape here to just try to keep this middle plastic down a little bit. And then I did one strip of the tape along there. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the chicken tractor greenhouse upgrade with installing wiggle wire. Make sure to check out my website, farmerbread.com and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm still working on trying to get monetized. Uh, it's a slow going process and any video that you watch of mine is one step closer. Also, I'd like to say I do have pre-orders for the plans of the Peterson chicken tractor. This uh, chicken tractor works great out on pasture for meat birds and stuff is growing inside of it in the off season as a greenhouse. So uh, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.